Welcome to the Pastor's Corner on, on Friday. We are so grateful and so incredibly blessed because God gives wisdom to all people. Um, we're looking at Proverbs chapter 1, 20 through 23. Let me read it to you. Wisdom calls aloud in the street. She raises her voice in the public squares. At the head of the noisy street, she cries out. In the gateways of the city, she makes her speech. This is good news. Wisdom is not just given to the Christians. Wisdom is not just given to those who's, who, are, who can hear it. The scripture says wisdom calls out loud in the streets, in the public squares. It is all over the place. Wisdom, if you have ears to hear, eyes that see, is speaking all the time. And listen to what wisdom is saying. And I believe wisdom is saying this even in our own streets in America today, even in our own families today. Listen to this. Wisdom is calling out and says, how long you simple ones love your simple ways? How long will mockers delight in mockery and fools hate knowledge? If you had responded to my rebuke, I would have poured out my heart to you and made my thoughts known to you. You see, wisdom God's wisdom is speaking loud and clear. It speaks through actions. It speaks through natural consequences. It speaks all the time. And even though, uh, you know, like a parent that says, don't touch the stove, and we reach out and we touch it, and ouch, uh, the scripture's saying, how long will you simple ones love your simple ways? It's talking about those who, who are always going, to, in a sense, going towards evil, to going to do the things they want to do because they want to do it. And even though their friends, their families, and others are saying, hey, stop, stop, stop doing this. I'm thinking of those who, who might, you know, who are hooked on drugs. There's people that have spoken to them all their lives. Stop, hey, stop. Their parents said it. Their friends said it. Everybody's saying it. And, and they just keep going. And it says, how long will mockers delight in mockery and fools hate knowledge? We think that we're getting away with stuff. We think that that by doing wrong that we are we are outsmarting people maybe we we have um found a way to um make a little extra on the side that's not exactly uh it's in the gray area and the and the scripture says you can't you can't live there and if you do live there um there there that's tomorrow's lesson but today i want to i want you to notice the heart of god and the heart of wisdom one is that God is calling out to everybody in the squares, in the public places, in the noisy streets. He, he is speaking wisdom all the time through natural consequences, through, through uh, the things that we've learned. And we're still not learning. But God has this in his heart. He says, if you would have responded to my rebuke by natural consequences, those things around you, if you would have done that, I would have poured out my heart to you and made uh, God's thoughts known to you. And so those who lack wisdom, who ignore wisdom, are missing the heart of God. And the converse is true. Those who listen to wisdom, those who pay attention and accept God's rebuke, his natural consequences and those types of things, God will pour out his heart to you, and he will make his thoughts known to you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you for wisdom that, that teaches us. Lord, sometimes we learn through natural consequences. Sometimes we learn by watching others. But Lord, those who ignore those warnings, ignores your calling in the streets, ignores those things, will not know you. But Lord, I'm thankful for the times that you draw close to, to us and you speak to us things about um, wisdom about knowledge about understanding and i thank you father that you reveal your thoughts to us this we ask in your name amen thank you for listening